This video is made possible by the EA Creator Network, which provided me with the keys for many of the worlds and build by you'll see in this series. Welcome back everyone to our second episode of Rocks to Riches. Where we left off, Ruby was enjoying uh, a snack over at the park. Now it may seem strange that she's uh, kind of blinked back home, but I have to apologize. I've been having some computer issues recently and uh, I did about half this episode before realizing that it wasn't actually doing its thing. So I went ahead and reset money values and stuff back and we're starting over. But I apologize that she's yes. in a different place than where we left her previously. What we discovered last week is that Ruby here is someone who enjoys talking uh -huh. to people. She enjoys chatter. She's cheerful, romantic, creative, and domestic. She's also currently homeless, as in she's squatting in an abandoned public building that thankfully no one has noticed her in yet. Now, most of the time during the day, she tries to uh, either be inside or outside. She doesn't like potentially someone seeing her leaving this supposedly abandoned building. Ruby is uncomfortable because she's sitting on a cooler. Um, let's see if we can get her. If she sits on the floor on her sleeping bag, is she a little better? It's not going to make any difference because she is... She really needs to use the restroom. And the restroom is out here. And let's see. Melee here is looking away. So is Dominic, who's over on a bench. Oh, there goes Dominic. Okay, we have a little opportunity. Come on, girl. Run, 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 run. Nope, Melee was still looking the other way. I think we're fine. And what we're going to do is we are going to take advantage of public grilling, which is the right of every rags to riches sim. And we are going to try and eat hot dogs in the rain. <laughs> While we're here, let's also make a new acquaintance. Let's see, is she in the mood to talk? Oh. Yes, yeah, she's in the mood to talk. Excellent. So, so. <laughs> sure. Oh, she's being flirted with. Okay. Oh, now, as I recall, oh, Melee is married. Janine. Not that we know that. <laughs> yeah, she's absolutely married. Oh, but right now, I don't know if she's uh, flirting with intent or just better. flirting. But oh, Ruby yeah. is a little wide-eyed and uncomfortable. She, she is not... <laughs> You know, growing up in the foster system, trying to navigate her her way through her teenage years, she really didn't have any romantic connections with anyone. Oh, Tinkwell. Sophie. I'm sick of flash. So while Ruby is not flirty, Mele definitely is. Oh, here we go. Victor Fang is mad. And who's this gentleman here? I don't know this townie. Okay, this is Harley Ramirez. Man, Victor Fang is always cranky. Let's see if we can say a friendly, uh, especially since I think Ruby is a little like, <laughs> to Melee being so flirty with her. She is inviting the other two into the conversation. Buckler! Sort of the opposite of what I do on every possible sim date. When I'm like, go away, go away. To all the interlopers, right now, Ruby is like, come here, come here. Now, why is Victor so cranky? Let's find out if we can. Oh, he's yelling. Sir, what's the deal here? Okay, he is... Making everyone uncomfortable. Sheep. Ruby, who is a peacemaker, is like, great, let's talk about the weather. Warm temperature, huh? How about that? Oh, she's supposed to apologize, and she will, because Ruby keeps the peace to get along. 
But that's something I'd like to see Ruby change over time. You don't always have to be... Like, he was just an unreasonable jerk right then. Just yelling for no reason. She had nothing to apologize about. Nothing to apologize for, I should say. Okay, Mela, you need to take a step back. This is Ruby. Look at Ruby's little face. She's not comfortable because it's so rainy out. And that encounter with Victor sort of rattled her a little. I think she's like, uh, thank you for the hot dog. Um, I'm gonna, I need to, I need to fish now. I am walking away. You may recall that last uh, episode, Jeffrey Landgrab gave her some some fishing lessons. So hopefully she'll do a little better this time. She's got a couple more hours that she needs to stay away from her house before she ducks inside it for the night. But what does she want? Let's look at her wants. She wants to freshen up in a mirror. She wants a mirror. And she wants to gain, oh no. She wants to gain a friendly relationship with a family member. She does not have family. She doesn't have anyone she consider family. Uh, there's no one in her life that falls under that, that category. So we're going to go ahead and pin that want. That's going to be a long-term want. And right now she's just fishing alone in the rain. Oh my gosh. Does she want another? Let's see if she'll want another hot dog before she ducks back into her house. Oh, she dislikes fishing. Okay, then. No more fishing for you. She feels gross. She feels wet and a little stinky. And she doesn't want the hot dogs. Yeah, I think she's tired of this hot dog. We're going to go ahead and grab some lilies from right there and keep adding to our money because pretty soon we're at about 700 right now. Pretty soon we're going to be able to buy a bl an empty lot. That's one of our big goals is to stop squatting and to buy some land for ourselves, one of the cheaper, smaller lots. And being able to sell flowers like those lilies right there, 144 bucks. All right, we're a neat, we're a neat person. Let's let's throw away the rest of this sodden food. And we don't really have any other money making enterprises right now, except. And I think Odd Jobs just closed up for the night. Yep. She could try and get a job, one of the uh, evening jobs. It's difficult because she doesn't have an address. And at least where I live, it's very hard for people to get employment without an address. So let's... Uh, We're going to give it a whirl. Let's see what we want to do. Not fisherman. She wants to make money quickly. She's not very capable in terms of like handiness, craftiness yet. Obviously, we're going to get her there, but she's just not there yet. I think retail. She only works a couple days a week. And yeah, she'll make a little bit of money now. That's only Sunday and Monday. What about, can she get a second part-time job? Let's go back down to the part-time options. Okay, barista overlaps, diver. This, she's just not in a place with deep sea diving. Babysitting over, nope. Fast food employee. How about that? Nope. Fast food. So much overlapping. At this point, she can... Ah. That's in the evenings. 
she might be able to do both of those. Let's try. Let's try. So shelf stalker and table cleaner. We'll see how that goes. Okay, in the meantime, it's just about... Okay, the lights are back on, which means it's full night. Let's come on back home. Anyone around? Nope. So she works tomorrow morning at five or tomorrow afternoon at five. Okay, good. So next thing we're going to do. Oh man, she needs a shower really badly. And again, she's exhausted and uncomfortable. Plus it's fall. It's starting to get cold. Her want right now is to do something romantic. She would love to be romantic with someone. I don't even think she has an idea of who that would be. Right? Besides daydreams. Um, yes. she just wants to do something romantic, but you know what, oh. despite being uncomfortable, her clothes are still damp. She doesn't smell very good right now. She's cheerful. She's a naturally cheerful person. And so I think, oops, she better get out of here quick. Okay. She is out for the day. Oh, look at this over here. What's this? She likes digging for things. I think this is a fossil and that's okay. Fossil cell. Oh, she got a fire opal. Well, we're going to hold on to that. And now she, oh God, <laughs> she's just 18. She wants to still like, <laughs> she wants to play in the leaves. <laughs> but she knows, you know, Fairly soon, this afternoon, she's going to start a new job. She really wants to go get a shower. So I think what she's going to do is we're going to travel. I did make a community lot. <laughs> can never say that word on, on uh, camera. Community lot. I did make a community lot just for this save. It's called the Goth Vocational Center, founded by, let's say, Mortimer's parents. It is an alternative school uh, for young adults, people of all ages, uh, who want to take a less traditional path toward career success. They get trade education in things like massage therapy, in music studies, in gem crafting, and in programming. And basically, it's a public service with a lot of facilities for people who are down on their luck. Let's go ahead and hit the showers. There is a wonderful locker room in here. And she is not sure what the requirements are to use it, but you know, if you act like you're supposed to be somewhere, you can usually get away with it. So she is, is taking good advantage of these public facilities. A nice singing voice oh much better she's gonna be going off to work in a much better frame of mind in a few hours okay and now let's see she knows speaking of singing she could go learn some music theory and you know get closer to becoming a musician for hire she can head over to the gem crafting room. Rocks to riches. But I, I, you know, I don't even think she's thinking of that yet. This is where she wants to be. But is that in her head yet? Besides basic survival? Probably not. Yeah, I don't think she's ready to do uh, the gem crafting yet. I don't think she's fallen in love with it. She may, she may have to dig up maybe two or three more gems before she gets intrigued with 
Like, what do I do with these? But as we noticed from her singing in the shower, she likes singing. So uh, let's see if she can have a little fun here. Okay. Maybe I spoke a little too soon. <laughs> Dory. Dory. Oh god, it's Melee! Who has now tipped her? Oh god, that's not awkward at all. Okay, Melee was kind enough to tip her and then leave. She's not being creepy. Let's just let her get to the top of the skill bar. And then we'll be uh, happier. Both our ears and Ruby will be happier. And look at these rich sims coming in to give her a couple bucks. And she is now singing level two. Good for her. Okay, no, no enough of that. Enough of that. You made six dollars and you should be happy. Now up here we have the daycare. This place has daycare offerings. An outdoor playground, an outdoor relaxation space. A little cafeteria, games. She has a lot of options. I think, though, what she's really in the mood to do. Yeah, she still wants to do something romantic. How about if we want to do something romantic? Here's where we begin. We're going to go ahead and have her sit down and relax. Relax on the sunshine, feel clean, feel like you just got some tips from singing, feel pretty good. How about we open Cupid's Corner? Oh, her picture has changed. Oh my gosh. Now she is not at this time looking for older Sims. Again, she just turned to young adult. And at this time, she's only interested in other young adults. That's an adorable picture. So the matches that are suggested for her are Lou, the werewolf, who is a romantic art leveler. That's a potential. And he's also dressed kind of scrappy werewolf. Uh, let's, let's save Lou. Abel is a child of the ocean. He's also jealous. He says straight up that he's jealous. Uh, we're going to pass. Travis is self-assured and outgoing. He's right in Willow Creek, which is kind of neat. Yeah, she'll give him a shot. Severus Snape. <laughs> this is, uh, you can have Sims that are made by other creators in Cupid's Corner. So this, this particular Snape has been made by someone uh, at the gallery. I'm sorry, I'm not seeing their creator name available, which is unfortunate. But I think we're going to pass on Snape. <laughs> I don't think Ruby is ready for full Snape. Okay, Case in here is a kleptomaniac who hates children. Pass. He is a clumsy bro. She, I don't think she has any problems with clumsy bros. But there's just nothing in that, like, finger guns picture. Pew, pew. That really enthralls her. Mitchell is holding a fish. No, she hates fishing. So, okay, we're down to two. We have Lou and we have Travis. Uh, we are not going to ask for a date today, but mm? tomorrow, perhaps. <laughs> she is happy and excited. Okay. Oh, no wonder she's interested in romance. Ever since uh, Love Struck dropped, all Sims do on benches is canoodle and look up at the sky. Though Katrina, Katrina, and Marcus don't look nearly as friendly as the Roswells. Oh, there they go. There they go. They just needed a sec. Ruby wants to be that. She wants to have that kind of partnership. 
Then let's get some food. We're in a place with a lot of vending machines, food opportunities. Let's just purchase a snack. She's going to get a pepperoni pizza roll up. Let's see, where is she going to go eat? Oh, in the office. You know what? I very much doubt that uh, Lilith here is our headmaster. But let's go ahead and say hi anyway. She obviously works for the vocational school. Uh -huh. uh, dag, dag. Dag. Oh, yes. Ifu Kimba. Oh. <laughs> she likes the little piercings. She thinks those are pretty cool. Look at her making people comfy. But she is digging Lilith's look. We may do a little uh, emulating of that as time goes by. As Ruby figures out her self-expression. Oh, Lilith is pretty busy, it looks like. Not necessarily wanting to chat with the teenager. Oh, we want to dance. Yeah, she's just enjoying hanging out in the gym and dancing while this... Mean mermaid talks to herself. I love that she's just hanging out dancing. Dance like the whole world is not watching. I don't remember how that goes. But she really likes chatting with people. Oh, look at this guy getting down. Love it. Oh, she's excited. Another dancer. Oh, and then he stops, of course. Now, she works in two hours, and I don't think she's ready to, you know, sweat right now. So, let's, uh, let's not do that. But I remember, too, she wanted earlier to check herself out in the mirror. So, let's freshen up. Oh, we should get, let her acquire the romance skill. I see. It's also, you know, let's brush our teeth, wash our hands. We're just getting ready. Like an adult. She is ready to go wait tables at Grabby Burger. And off she goes. But let's go ahead and fast forward until she's home. All right, she made like 60 bucks. It is 9 p.m., so we can send her back to her little house. But let's go ahead and uh, use the necessary first. Oh, she's found someone she would like to flirt with. Marcel Price, oh my. Well, after doing a bit more leaf jumping. Now she is being, oh, she's being asked if she wants to go to the lofts. When does she work again? Oh, she's got time. She's being asked by one of those nice ladies she met in the park the other day to go to the bluffs, which means a dance party. She's going to quickly hide her hat or at least maybe put on a different t-shirt or something. The woman who invited her, Charlie, who she met last time, uh, is probably a little chilly. Loonies, Kelsey, Napa. Ask to see outfit cold weather. Let's be kind. We're going to be kind to Charlie. Did Charlie just collapse in the pea bush? Yeah, she sure did. Okay. That is a thing that happened. And we're tired too, but come on. DJ. Lerva. Look at all these cool people. Look at the people she can meet. This awesome elder. How about Candy Bear? Oh, she's a bro. She feels like a social bro lately. It would be nice to sit down and watch sports with other bro sims. Okay. If the heart wants what the heart wants. If the bro wants what the bro wants. 
You got it, girl. You're a bro. <laughs> We're just gonna click on a few more people. Joaquin Lachien. Apologies at my pronunciation there. Oh, wow. Joaquin really gets down. You know what? She's met enough people. I bet she could do a group dance. I wonder, do you have to recruit people to do it? Oh, I bet you do. Okay, I'm not familiar with that functionality, so... Oh, but her and her friend are doing the wedding group dance. While everybody watches and there's no music. That's not cringe at all. Oh, but everyone's think. Oh, no. They're thinking about Ruby, just not necessarily in the most positive way. Some people love it. The DJ loves it. Other people are just straight up laughing at her. Oh, wow. Okay, that was cute, cute cringe. Uh, she's tired. She's gonna come sit over here. I don't think she realizes that about half that crowd was laughing at her. But, you know what? She's having a good time anyway, and that's what matters. She's gonna sleep on this bench for a few minutes, and I think we're gonna call it here. Next time, we're gonna make two... We're gonna hopefully meet two goals. We're going to get a couple more crystals, and then hopefully begin our path of gem crafting. Uh, as opposed to retail and food service. And maybe we'll dance some more. Dance like no one's watching. That's right. And that's what Ruby's going to do. Everybody, thank you so much for being part of the series. Uh, please like and subscribe if you'd like to keep up with all my video efforts. And of course, if you want to uh, enjoy a bit more of my zaniness, I do have a Twitch stream three days a week in which we do all this sort of thing. Have a great day. Bye-bye.